Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 about setting up your sales tax in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University and there's a couple of different steps I want to walk you through here in setting up your sales tax to make sure you charge it appropriately and uh, pay it in appropriately. So we're just going to go through some of the setup in this tutorial. All right, so the first thing is we're using a sample company file. Um, I think the absolute first thing you need to do is check on your state and locality on what, uh, when is sales tax due, what is it charged on. There's different rules for different states and even different cities and localities depending on where you live and where you sell and what's also called situs, which means do you have a physical presence uh, somehow in a different state? Okay, so it can get kind of complicated, especially if you're selling across state lines. If you're a, a local business in your town and let's say you have a retail shop, it's much, much simpler. But if you have an online business and you're selling across state lines or even a, a, a brick and mortar shop and you sell across state lines, it can get a little bit more complicated. Okay, so you definitely want to check into this. Do some research because it's a it's a big area where states are cracking down on all right so first things first we're going to go over to this taxes tab over here okay so this sample company file already has some things set up in here but i want to show you here edit sales tax settings if we click on this you're going to see here do you charge sales tax yes default sales tax in this case is california okay so you can change this after you uh set up some tax rates and agencies. So we're going to default to mark all new customers taxable and mark all new products and services taxable. Okay, you can change this, of course. So we click Save. All right, so now what I want to do is add or edit tax rates and agencies. All right, so we have these set up in here and we want to do new. Okay, so we're going to say uh, South Carolina sales tax. Okay agency name department of revenue okay and then we're going to say six percent okay so now we have a new agency and a new tax rate set up so we're going to go back to our uh, sales tax center all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to our products and services list under the gear icon all right so sales tax and quickbooks you know essentially you set up the sales tax rates and the agencies then you specify which products and services have sales tax uh, associated with them so that when you invoice quickbooks knows that this item should be taxed or should not be taxed and again this is where it's very important to check on your state or your locality to figure out what has tax and what doesn't have tax Okay, so you can see here a column under our products and services that says taxable when it's got the check mark. That means that we have said it is taxable and when it doesn't have it, it says it is not. All right, so if we go into edit, so I want to edit this design product and service. So again, if you're setting up a new product or service, you're going to specify this. All right, so you'll see down here, there's a checkbox that says is taxable. Now this is just a default. You can always make it taxable on an invoice. Okay, so right now by default, this is not taxable. So if we say is taxable, you can check that box and now on an invoice, it will automatically tax this item. All right, now these things down here, the sales tax category, um, you by all means can fill this in, but it's not necessary and neither is the what you sell. Okay, so you can just check this box is taxable. All right. So I'm going to just close out of this uh, because we're not going to change that. So, okay, so this is the second area that's very important. Now, the third one is going to be in your customers, okay? Because to make matters even more complicated, uh, some customers have sales tax and some don't. So, for example, if you're selling something in general uh, to somebody that's going to resell your product, in general, you would have to get something from them that says, hey, this is not, you shouldn't charge me tax, and you wouldn't tax them when you sell it to them. Now, on the other hand, if you are a retail shop and you have a customer in here, uh, they are gonna be taxable in general, all right? So you can also specify 
uh, different customers and whether they are taxable or not. Okay, so if we, for example, go into Amy's Bird Sanctuary and we say edit, you're going to see a tab down here that says tax info. Okay. Uh, you check this box if this customer is taxable by default and the default tax code is California. All right. And of course, you can change it depending on your situation. Now, if they are not taxable, and what I mentioned before, and again, so important to check on your uh, local uh, laws and regulations, but they're going to give you something that isn't what's called an exemption certificate. It's called different things in different states, but you want to make sure you have this and they should have an exemption number that you can type in here. And uh, you can also attach their certificate so you have it on file. All right. So very important. And that way you wouldn't charge them tax. Okay. So by default, this customer is taxable and we hit save. All right. So let me show you this one final piece. If we go to, uh, let's say that um, I'm going to create a new invoice here. All right, and I am going to invoice Amy's Bird Sanctuary, okay? So if I say Amy's Bird Sanctuary, all right, and I say product and service, you'll see that uh, design should not have tax, okay? So you'll see it's not calculating tax, uh, but if I choose concrete, it does have tax, okay? So I'm gonna say 2,500. And you'll see that the California 8% rate is calculating $200. Now, if I needed to change that, I could do it. So South Carolina 150, and it's going to add it to the invoice. All right. So those are the, this is the basics of setting up sales tax in, in QuickBooks. And as you go along and you charge and you collect uh, sales tax from your customers, then you're going to go over to the uh, sales tax center and this is where you're going to record the payments of the sales tax all right again these are basics of sales tax you need to check in your locality your state see what the rules are and uh, definitely follow those rules uh, but also head on over to quickbooks university uh, we've got great uh, training tutorials to show you everything about quickbooks online over there uh, as well as QuickBooks Desktop, plus members get to ask me personal questions about their QuickBooks file, and I help them uh, answer their questions so they can get their QuickBooks file set up the best way possible. QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org, and I'll see you over there.